Hello, my name is John Sims with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will cover how to register an Avaya Session Border Controller when deployed with IP Office using the Global Registration Tool. Before the demonstration, first a few notables. When the Avaya Session Border Controller for Enterprise Portwell CAD 0208 as seen below is deployed with IP Office 8.1, it can be registered using the Global Registration Tool during a typical IP Office 8.1 registration event. In GRT, we'll make use of manually adding the material code 273973 to register the Portwell CAD Session Border Controller. And keep in mind that registration of systems is required for IP Office Support Services entitlement. Now as you see, I'm in GRT, I've logged in using my SSO login, and I'm going to create a new registration as you see me click that link. Now I'll provide a test sold to, as you see here, and I'll act as a business partner during this registration. So I'll select New Registration, and you'll see that GRT will respond by giving us the Site Contact Validation screen, which I'll scroll down and add in a phone number and say that I want to receive email notification I'll say that the on-site contact is myself and then I'll enter a an appropriate cutover date which is today and again the session border controller has to be with paired up with IP Office 8.1 or greater so we'll select IP Office 8.1 or greater install We'll answer a few short questions regarding information, company information. And the important question here is remote connectivity. There'll be a follow-up companion video on setting up connectivity to Session Border Controller through the IP Office using NAT feature. And here I'll add in the saved off inventory file from the server edition in this case, IP Office server edition. So now that I'm set to use that inventory file, I'll click Next. So GRT will respond with the install base creation page. I'll scroll down on this page and you'll see that we're set thanks to the inventory file for an IP Office 8.1 server edition primary registration. I'll now make use of the manually add material code button and add in the material code for the port well CAD which is 273793. You'll see that entered there and I'll give it a quantity of one. Serial number is not required. And you'll see that GRT responds with the appropriate description of the Portwell CAD for IP Office. Since we're all set, we're going to select Submit at the bottom of the page. I'll click that and GRT will respond with a confirmation pop-up asking if we wish to proceed with the registration request, which will select Yes. And GRT will respond one last time telling us that the install base request has been submitted and will receive notification email. And this finalizes how to register an SBC Portwell CAD for IP Office during an IP Office registration in GRT. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.